For this lesson, we're talking about dividing mixed numbers. So we're continuing to build up our division skills. For this, I wrote out the steps. So what do you need to do? The first step when dividing mixed numbers is turn those mixed numbers into improper fractions. It's much easier to change those from mixed numbers to improper fractions and then uh, continue with the problem. If you leave them as mixed numbers, it's much more complicated and there are a lot of mistakes that you could make. Step two is going to be turn the problem into a multiplication problem using the skills we've learned when dividing with fractions. Step three, that'll get it into the multiplication problem. So it, it, it's in the multiplication problem, so multiply for simplify. I have an example of how you turn a mixed number into an improper fraction down here at the bottom. In the example of two and three fourths, what you do is simply say, I. We're going to take these two, the whole number and the denominator, we're going to multiply them. So 4 times 2, and then when you get that solution, you're going to add it to the numerator. So, an example here, right, we have 2 times 4, right, 2 times 4, so I multiply those, is going to be 8, and that's going to be added to 3. So our answer would be, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11 fourths. Right? And when we get this improper fraction, that's going to make it much easier to multiply. So then going into these examples, going into these examples, here in the example I have a, a mixed number divided by a whole number. Well, remember a whole number could just be simply written as 2 over 1, right? The number over the number 1. Because 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. So that number has not changed. We just turned it into a fraction. So we could use the rules we've been learning. Well, we need to turn, we need to do step one, we need to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. So five times two is 10, add it to the numerator, which is one. 10 plus one is 11. My denominator remains the same, right? Okay, and I can still write it as a division problem if I wanted, knowing that step two is turn that problem into a multiplication problem. So 11 over two, multiplied by, well the reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 over 2. I need to look, is this, uh, are there any factors that can cancel out? No, 11 and 2 do not have a common factor that could simplify and neither does 2 and 1. So let's multiply. 11 times 1 is 11, 2 times 2 is 4. I end up with an improper fraction. I need to write it in simplest form. Well, 4 is going to go into 11 twice, right? The remainder would be 3, so that's my numerator, and 4 is going to be my denominator. For number 2, these are both uh, mixed numbers, so I need to turn them both into improper fractions. So 8 times 4, that one is 32, 32 plus 3 is 35, so I get 35 over Four. Okay, and remember, I know I'm going to turn this into a multiplication problem. So, I'm going to do that stuff right now. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1, 13. And normally that would go in my numerator, but since I know I need to find my reciprocal, that's actually going to go in my denominator. And then, I know that my denominator is actually, since I'm finding the reciprocal, going to go into my numerator. There I could look across and say, well, 6 and 4 have a common factor of 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 4 twice. I'm going to get 35 times 3, which is 105. 2 times 13, which is 26. Okay. Well, I need to turn that improper fraction into a mixed number. 26 is going to go into 105 four times. Okay? It's going to go into it four times. 4 times uh, 26 is 104, so that means there's going to be a remainder of 1 and 26. Now remember, you can do multiple, or you can do the division problem off to the side as necessary. I can do that mentally, but as you're still practicing these skills, it would be good to divide them out because you might not see that 26 goes into 105 four times. So do the division problem to the side. Remember, any whole number you get, that's the whole number. The numerator is what the remainder that you will get, and then 26, that's the divisor. 
So that's going to remain the same. The denominator is going to stay the same. Over here, we have both of them are mixed numbers. So 3 times 5 is 15. Add it to 3. That is going to get us 18 over 5. Over here, I'm going to get 1 times 5. And I'll continue writing it as a division problem for you first. 1 times 5 is 5. Add it to the numerator is 9. I need to find, uh, turn, find the reciprocal to turn it into a multiplication problem. It's going to be 18 over 5 times by 5 over 9. Are there common factors? Why, yes, there are, my good sir. 5 and 5 over here, 9 is a common factor. So that's going to be 9, and that's going to be 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1, while 2 over 1 equals 2. So our problem uh, has a solution of 2. Next, for number 4, again, we have two improper fractions. 4 times 3 is 12. Add it to our numerator. 12 plus 2 is 14 over 3. We're going to write it as a division problem for you to see. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 2 is 20. 20 over 9. All right, turn it into a, a multiplication problem. 14 over 3 multiplied by 9 over 20. Are there common factors? Yes, there are. 2 goes into 14 and 20. So we're going to get 7, and we're going to get 10. Over here, 3 goes into 3 and 9. We're going to get 3 in the numerator, 1 in the denominator over there. 7 times 3 is 21. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 goes into 21 twice. 1 will be in my numerator, since that would be the remainder. 10 is in my denominator. And those are some example problems for dividing mixed numbers.